on guys Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome and today we have you got it right here the Kyosho Madvan VE. This is brushless power and it's got more punch than the, ver the first version of it which is a brushed version. So it's a 110 scale new body. It's got little skid plates on there to protect that body to last a little bit longer. So that's nice. It does have a wheelie bar all that good stuff. I'll show you that as we unbox this thing. But if you're looking to get one of these you're going to need some extra little components to get this thing working. You're going to need a charger and a 2S LiPo battery to get you going. You can run it on nickel metal, just read your instructions, making sure that you need to set things correctly to put it into nickel metal mode or into LiPo mode. By default, it should it's already on LiPo, meaning that's gonna shut the car off after it hits a certain voltage and that's uh, protecting your LiPo battery. But with that being said, I'll put those links down in the description below so you can get that stuff at uh, omgrc.com. So we have a few of these left on the website, so if you wanna check them out, as the recording of this video so we'll get more in anyway if we do run out so keep checking back now this come with optional lights that you can add to it so give it a little bit of extra realism on it we want to get this thing out of the box one let's take a look at just the side art but i'll put those links in the description below so you guys can check it out at your leisure on that part of it but let's go ahead and skim over it see what it comes with Pretty nice, all the little settings on there. Your four double A's at the bottom. To what's in the bag here before we get to the actual vehicle. So I had a customer ask me about this little wing. I've cut out the wing. Right now it has a protective film on it. So little divots in this molding of this wing. So you'll need to cut those out. I just use a reamer. What else do we get in here? We get some other little pieces in here. These are gonna be your spacers for stiffening up the shocks, adjusting your shocks as far as the proportion valve that's in it. Other little things in there for like your servo arm, different, I guess a different throw. Not 100% sure. These are actually little shock ends that it comes with inside the bag also. Get some little tools, wheelie bar delete. So we'll have the rest where we gotta check out these instructions see what this is all about a little kyosho branded wrench binding plug the stickers it gives you oh nice they're already die cut out so that means that you don't have to know this cut and stuff follow suit people i don't like cutting stuff out so there is the sticker sheet so if you get one there you go you get one of those that's cool uh this is going to be for tuning looks for a slipper clutch rear wing so you do have to cut that out the main booklet here I hope this thing's got, it definitely has a breakdown like if you were putting it together. Go ahead and take this off of here. Look at what's underneath this thing finally, right? All right, so body wise, you do get the uh, light bucket, LED light buckets for the front and also for the rear. I did show like a little picture of these. These are the J Concept Fling Kings. So just, they look kind of cool. Aluminum drive shaft. If you had the brushed version of it, this would have been plastic. This one obviously comes with the aluminum one. Steel spur gear. So um, off and on switch. Resets is next to it for programming and such. It does have the receiver sitting right next to it. So it's just kind of hiding out in here. Your servo sitting down there. 16 amp electronic speed controller. 4000 kV brushless motor capable of only 2S, even though the electronic speed controller shows it, states it, 2S, 3S, 60 amp, the motor can't handle, but only a 2S. Put different shock spacers in there, that's what this little bag is. So those little shock spacers stiffen up the springs. Also does have like these little proportion valves right in there, so that way, I don't know what's in there, if it's like four little valves, you know, it has four little holes in it, or you know, what it's got. So maybe somebody could drop a comment on that one. But if it does have less, then it'll actually uh, make it a little bit firmer. Or you can just put different oil, thicker weight in it to stiffen it up, drain the old stuff, put the new, newer, thicker stuff in there. Is your wheelie bar really nice? I think it's got bearings in it, I would believe. Yeah, well, it's pretty smooth. No, I like Velcro strap. 
because it's universal. That way you can get bigger batteries in there. Very nice on that part of it. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the underside of it. Not much going on. And that's kind of, a, that's a good thing because that means less screws, less hardware, easier to get to stuff. There's the front end of it. So you can tell like there's really no adjustments to this. It's just, it is what it is. You can move the shock just out a little bit further. Uh, if this is given to someone that's pretty new to the hobby, nice thing, I love these radios. To be honest with you, it's my most favorite RTR radio out there that I've had in my hand. But you can adjust the speed on this thing. So what you can do, let's go ahead and get that glare out of there, is uh, your throttle. So you see where it says throttle here? You can actually turn this dial down and it's gonna give it less power. So when you squeeze the throttle, there's not as, you're not gonna get all that 100%. So you can turn that down a little bit more. Maybe you're giving it to someone that's less experienced. And you say, here, you go ahead. Here you go. Have fun with it. I'm not going to do any damage if I turn this thing down and uh, then crank it back up. Do keep in mind to check on motor temperatures for your vehicle, especially during the summertime. And if when you turn stuff down, sometimes it just adds a little bit more load to the, to the motor. So you want to keep an eye on all that stuff. Just be mindful and uh, enjoy it. Do your maintenance on it. Clean it up. Definitely good. I definitely appreciate all you guys checking out the channel watching this video to the end definitely appreciate that one's pretty awesome van i do have links down in the description below right to our website omgrc.com hopefully this video was helpful for you guys definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh yeah we got those links down in the description so check us out omgrc.com until next time you guys take care peace